With the Red Scarlet almost here, I decided to build a system that could edit those files in real time in Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere. So this is what we're working with right here. I took my old, it's a Leon Lee PC70, which isn't designed for water cooling. I added a Corsair H100 water cooling system along with a 2600K Intel CPU. The H100 keeps it at 27 degrees Celsius in, in nominal tasks, but when it clocks up to a stable 4.8 gigahertz at about 1.4 volts, uh, it will stay a, uh, around 70 degrees Celsius, depending on fan speed. Now, my uh, H100 broke after two days, the fan controller broke, so I'm now running it off an external fan controller that I've had for years, and I'm still waiting for Corsair to get back to me. The motherboard is an Asus P8 P67 Evo. It's the newer version of the P8 P67. Uh, you can use a, a Z68 chipset if you need the onboard video, but since I don't need the onboard video or the uh, SSD caching, uh, I used a Corsair Force 3 240 gigabyte uh, SSD. Didn't see that is necessary and the board is a little bit cheaper than something like the, the Z68 Pro. Uh, for video I went with the EVGA 560Ti 448 core classified. Um, it's on a 580 GTX board. I, I don't need the absolute fastest. You can certainly SLI the cards if you want to but I think for most purposes that I've tested uh, it works just fine with one card. You can overclock it to GTX 580 speeds if you want to do gaming with the card. Now certainly this isn't the perfect setup for everyone, um, but for RED or even uh, high bitrate hack GH2, it'll allow you to do a lot of things in real time that you couldn't do on other computers. And there's a, there'll be a link to my blog with the parts of the computer that I used below.